some good firewood. Right. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. This will work. Ah, still too long. Let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Garbage. Forget it. Uh, get it. Uh, that's another video. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do. This is All Things Outdoors and I'm Jeremy. We're going to talk about wood cutting today. It's not always the most ultra light way to cut wood is to pack along a chainsaw. But there are some options out there. There's a couple for you. There's a machete. There's even a mini machete. There's a carbon tooth folding saw. And this crazy guy, a pocket saw. To put him to the test, what I was kind of thinking is, why don't I use this fallen chunk of hickory big enough for Sammy Sosa on the juice to hit a baseball 400 feet? And let's see which one actually cuts, maybe cuts through it or cuts through it the best. Um, it is pretty, pretty heavy. I mean, as you guys know, hickory is amongst some of the hardest wood out there. Um, but I want to kind of put it to the test and see what happens. So. Let's check out the first option, mini parang. Now, parangs do cut a lot better than a regular machete because it gives you more of a focus point with the blade. So this mini obviously isn't that big. This chunk of hickory is rather large. I'm curious as if it'll even cut through it or how long it'll take me to cut through it. So let's check it out. That was actually way better than what I thought. All right, let's give the full-size machete, praying machete, a, a run, see how well it does. I'm guessing it'll be a little faster. A little easier, um, surprisingly, not much easier than the mini, but it, it still wasn't bad. Um, I, I'm guessing this sole might be a little easier. And for the weight, something that weighs a third of what this weighs, I'm betting it's going to be a better way to do it. All right, let's try the carbon toothed sole, see how it does. That was pretty easy. Now this crazy thing, I don't see this working, um, but I think we need to give it a fair try. Um, all right, let's, let's give it a whirl. Not sure what the best way to use this crazy thing is. Yeah, this kind of kind of cumbers. There's got to be a better way for this thing. All right, maybe maybe this way.
through the top, maybe? I mean, it's cutting it, but it's not the, not the most efficient. I mean, I wish this thing would, got an idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop one end through the Y of that stick. And then I'm gonna press it down and there's a split in this top part right here. Now I don't know if this will hold, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So basically it looks like that at the top and that on the bottom. So it kind of looks like a saw. Let's give it a whirl and see if it works. Oh yeah. It's not getting hung up at all. There we go. Time to rate them. Let's pick a winner here. Let's start with last place. Weight to cutting ability, absolutely the full size Parang. Um, it, it really didn't cut that much better than what the Mini did compared to the extreme weight difference. It, this is half the weight of this one here. All right, in third place, it was very close between third and second. Um, I'm gonna go with the Mini Parang. So it, it did cut through, uh, but again, I think the, the major weight difference uh, in the Mini is, is substantial compared to the second place. Second place is actually going to be the pocket saw. This took extremely long to cut through the wood. It did cut through it and using it as a bow made it really easy, but I just felt like the time compared to the first place, which would be the carbon fiber tooth saw, it was extremely fast. The weight really was not that bad uh, to carry. I, I don't. I don't think I would worry about carrying this a little bit of extra weight. I'd consider this a comfort item if I needed to. Um, but I would say first place goes to a carbon tooth saw. Well, I hope this kind of gives you a little bit of a look at some different cutting tools for the hiking trail. If you find this video useful at all, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Hmm. Definitely listening.